Hello, welcome to this video. It is Data Sense Garage. How to get statistical data from any YouTube channel directly to you by using Python code? This is what I will show you today. Let's say you want to have this Python code to extract data from YouTube channel. So here is the YouTube channel you want to extract data from. Apparently, on this way, that red arrow, we need some kind of API coming from YouTube service. What is the provider of that API? Yes, it is Google. We'll use Google Cloud for setup that. Come back to Python. This is our Python virtual environment. What will support that API on the right? From official Python repositories, we have Google API client for Python. We will set up the simple architecture in this video from scratch. That is easy. Have fun and let's go. Alright, we are on Google Cloud Console page and the first thing what we need to do here is to create a new project. So let's do it right now. We need to click on new project and then the name of our new project let it be YouTube Data API. That's fine. Okay, and click on create. You can see that our new project is being initialized on the notification tab right here and then you can just select our new project by clicking on select project and you can see that our project is being selected in this list that's fine now you can to go to api and services and in here we need to activate and enable some apis that we need from multiple choices that you see in this list so go to enable apis and we need to find api for youtube and what we need to find is YouTube Data API version 3. That's good. Yeah, this one. YouTube Data API version 3. And we need to enable it. You can confirm the name is the same that we need. Click on enable. Okay, I see that our API is enabled for our project. You can see the dashboard in this window with some timelines and some spaces for data. So next thing what we need to do for our API is to create credentials. With our credentials we will able to connect with API in our Python code. So we need to create an API key. So we are selecting API key, it is creating and this is what we will use in our Python code. So. We need to copy in your notes. That's what I'm doing. So copying and pasting right here. And with this step, we are completing setting our API in Google Cloud Console. And now it is a good time to install a Google API client for Python in our Python virtual environment. It is official release and here we have uh, this PIP install command for Python virtual environment. So we will use it in our terminal right here. We are pasting that command. It's a PIP install Google API Python client and press enter. And it will be installed in a few seconds. And let's check the terminal. And if you see successfully installed Google API client, that's fine. You are ready to move forward, so let's go. Also, I want to show you two documentation resources that you can use daily in your real projects. The first one is GitHub repo, and in here you can find many, many Python samples that shows you what exactly codes should be used in specific situations, depends on what you need to develop. Another one is Google developers page. and. We will use this in this tutorial because it's very powerful, very readable and let's go in reference and then select channels because we need to get extracted data from channels. And we will use list function and list function requires some parameters and the part is what we exactly need to extract. We need to extract statistical data so statistics is what we need to use in part parameter. Next one, how we can identify YouTube channel. And this is a filters. And there are many options how we can do it. This category ID for username ID, 
and another ones we will use for username because it's very easy to do i will show you directly in jupyter notebook so let's open jupyter notebook or create a new one so i'm creating a new one because i want to show you from zero how to do it and documentation is on the right so almost everything is fine so youtube api analytics so let's go to hands-on okay we can start with our python file and this file should start from importing our google api client to our code and this is what we are doing right now from google api client discovery importing build method this is very important method to set up our connectivity to api and what i need to mention right now is a python version because this google api client support python 3.7 or higher version so if you have 3.7 or higher python version that's fine we can move forward so okay and next step is to specify our api key and this is api key and api key is that one we got from google cloud console and copied in our notes this is mine and i'm using it right here okay i got my api key and by using this api key i can to set up the connectivity to um, youtube api and this is a youtube variable and i'm using a build method and in this method i need to specify some critical parameters the first one is a service name it's a youtube next one is a version name of api it's a version free and the last one is a api key and api key is comes to developer key so for developer key i'm using the api key that i got from google cloud console so i'm specifying it right here okay that's fine so we made a very big step and now we can to make a request to the youtube api okay and this is a request uh, variable in our python code so we can start to do it we use a youtube variable from here and from this youtube variable we can input some uh, parameters from documentations so let's come to top and this is a channel so we use a channels method let's write it here channels and brackets okay and from the channels we can use a list functionality so from channels we are using a list functionality and inside list remember we can specify parameters that we will use to extract the data okay remember this is required parameter and we have a part part is right here and we use a uh, statistical data we need statistics from part so let's specify it right here part equals statistics next parameter that we will use in the list functionality is filter parameter how can to identify our channel so we use a for username because it's very very easy okay for username yes equal and okay i will show you example let's go to youtube okay and the first channel that you want to test is a bbc as you can see we come to the top of this line we use a url address and this is a username okay and let's put it right here in our code for username equal to bbc news and if you want to get the answer from request we need to execute this request so response equal to request and we need to execute it right now okay so it's executed so we can now to print our response and let's go it is uh, many statistical information and I'm interested in statistic field and we have a view counts, we have a subscriber counts, we have a height and subscriber counts and video counts. That's a statistical part that you can to use in your analytic task. Okay, another channel that I want to test is CNN. It's the same approach how you can use a username 
so I can just change it right here is uh, CNN and the statistical data is diverse. You can compare, you can do whatever you want. It's very easy to do. So this is our response. And then I want to extract the specific field of the response. So I can to specify exactly item exactly a part from a response I want to use in my task. The request result is a JSON with keys and wireless. It is a Python dictionary. You can use different ways to use, store, analyze and do any data manipulations. For example, I want to use a statistical field. This is the list of statistical data and I specify, okay, I need a statistical key and Statistical field has these attributes. It's a view count, subscriber count, height and subscriber count, and video count. I need to use a view count, for example. This is the wall, and I need to convert to integer. So, come back to some documentation and to Google Cloud Console. And uh, we made a two request to this API and we can check it in Google Cloud Console how it's working and you, you can monitor how your API is working in your backend. So if you come to API service dashboard, here on the bottom you can see uh, some real time data. It's, it's right here, I'm zooming in and yeah, request equal to you can see average latency, you can see another matrix you can add or exclude and you can see some data in this timeline and you can play with and uh, this is very fun. That's all in this tutorial I wanted to show how to use YouTube API in your Python code. I hope that was easy for you and in the next videos we can improve our code if you want. Just drop a comment and See you on the next video. Bye bye.